Hello. Hi, everybody. We'll start seeing some people jump on soon. I hope so. And I'm excited because, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just have my moderator asking, do I need to enter the studio? Yes. So I'm also gonna check and see if we are live here. Oh, yay. Okay, so okay. we are live. We are live today, ready to talk beauty. And we've got two of us on here. Hi, Monica. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Monica. I see it. So that's good. I'm seeing the views. Hi, Gloria. Good. Hi, Gloria. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. This is getting exciting. I know. I'm so excited to talk about some items that are brand new to me, even though I have so much. Sean, I have so much makeup. <laughs> I was able to condense the video. So I was telling Lisa I made a video about all of the Shantikai items that I have and I swatched everything. I think it's at 22 minutes. So I was shocked that I could get it down that far. Wow. I put things into categories like the lip veils and then I swatched all of them or the lip cheeks and I swatched all of them. So That's yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. And you put it down to 22 minutes. That's even more amazing. Right? <laughs> Good okay, so I know that we have a few people here already. Um, do you want to get started and then we can just... Sure, sure. Um, wait, I want to ask a couple questions. Monica, where are you from? Let's see where people are from here. Yeah, and Gloria, let us know where you're from. We'd love to know. While we just wait a couple minutes, it's only 12.03. And then maybe um, type in your favorite... Shantikai item. Oh, I love that idea. Or what you love about Shantikai, because there are so many things in addition to the products that I love about the company. Yeah. From Texas and Germany. Wow. Oh, wow. What time is it in Germany right now? And hello to you in Texas. There might be a lag. There might be. It's okay. Plus, it takes a minute to type. <laughs> right, right. I'd love to know yours at the very end. I don't know if you can narrow it down, Lisa. Hi, Laura from California. Yes. Hi. Um, but yeah, at the end, I'd love to know what's your um, 1,800 hours. Okay, so not so so far off. Um, hello from Santa Fe, New oh. Mexico. Oh. My parents used to have a home in Santa Fe. That's where they retired to. So beautiful there. Oh, and Rossi from LA. A Los Angeles is that a is that supposed to be a CA? Is there another Los Angeles? There's only one, right? In California? Or is or it Los Vermont? Angeles, Virginia? VA. For a VA? I don't know. Me either. Vegas. Wow. Oh, Vegas Vegas. <laughs> this is great. So we've got the Rose in California. California. Oh, California. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jupiter, Florida. Nice. Okay. Hello from Maryland. Becky's from Maryland. We've got Ireland in the house. We've got Chicago. Hi, Jennifer. It's, oh, it's a sunny day in Santa Fe. Nice. It's always sunny in Santa Fe. The sun is always there. It's beautiful. And then Florida. Sunny oh, Saudi Arabia. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I've, I've never been there. Have you been there, Lisa? I haven't. It's on the bucket list. Right now, I would go anywhere on my bucket list. I'm so ready to travel again. <laughs> Where would you go first? Hi, Katrina in California and Ohio. I think to, um, Thailand. Uh-huh. Yeah. We were supposed to go there. So were we last summer. We were we would have run into you because that was our plan to go to Thailand and we've never been there. And we were all ready to go. Us too to celebrate our 30th anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We survived. We're still married, even through COVID. <laughs> and no trip to Thailand. We've made it. So did you do something fun instead locally to celebrate? That's a big one. You know, we opened a bottle of champagne, ordered dinner in. It was nice. Oh, nice. That is nice. It and is. Christine is from the coast of Maine. Wow, we have people from all over. That's amazing. This is awesome. Thank you so much for joining us. 
Oh, so, shall we get started? Yeah, I just want to thank Lisa first, though, for putting this together. It's really been such a pleasure getting to, I, you know, we've kind of interacted a little bit along the way, Lisa and I, but really, as we were planning this, we had a lot of time to chat, and we chat, oh, happy 30 years, Gloria says. Thank you. We chatted a lot about Shanshkai, but then about other things, so it's been really fun getting to know Lisa, and I think our um, temperament, we've decided, is very similar kind of go with the flow, keep things really calm. So I really right. enjoyed it. Right. So we might move a little slow. We might go, we might veer off the direction that we had path, we had made a path to. Yeah. Just bear with us. But I've really enjoyed getting to know you too. And thank you for having me on your channel and for being a Shantikai lover. And Wayne Goss is here. I have to say, thank you so much for joining us, Wayne. Wow, my heart. Hi, is Wayne. <laughs> so I know many of you know who he is. and. Um, I'm so excited for, for his success too. So thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, and Christine, a great client of mine is on here. Hi, Christine. Thank you for coming to visit. This is awesome. Oh, wow. So people that you are connected with as well. So thank you so much for coming over if you're coming over from Lisa. Yeah, we appreciate it. So today we thought we would talk about, so so many of you have seen so many lives and we dig deep into skincare and, um, hi, Abby. Abby's here. Um, today we thought we would talk about Shantikai and its classic beauty, beauty makeup line, which a lot of people aren't that familiar with because everybody looks at the launches, spring, summer, fall, and all the beautiful palettes we put together. But we have an amazing basic color line that we'd like to introduce you to today. So cool beans. <laughs> okay. Well, Anna, Anna's here as well. Welcome. Um, yeah, I'm so excited because, as you know, I love Shantikai. I have so much. But then Lisa and I started talking about classic items that I actually have never tried. So this is like a, um, like a basics, something that we talked about as your base for some of the new launches, some of the limited edition launches. You can pair them really nicely. So I have not used them yet. I haven't had a chance. Yeah. So we're going to experience this together for the first time. So I'm, I'm excited to learn. So we, so I gave her the task of selecting um, eight of our individual shadows that we put in an eight pan that kind of looks like this. And you can put it any way you want. So Grace created her favorite colors. And so that's basically what we're going to be talking about. Ah, let's see, am, I, am I in the right? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> good. <laughs> so these are all these shadows are sold individually, and the quality of the shadow is so beautiful. They glide on. They give nice coverage. Um, they're not. They have a sheen to them, but not a frost. So they give you a beautiful glaze over the eye. And what's really fun about putting your own set together is you can make it um, any way you want. So you can do a day look on the top, an evening look on the bottom four, or you can do a warm and a cool look. You can actually, even if you wanted to, if you had um, any of our blushers like, like this, there's a little hole at the bottom. And you could pop that blush out and even put that in your eight pan if you were traveling. So that's really fun. So what we're going to start with today is, yes, the packaging is gorgeous. I couldn't, I mean, like, this is just, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then the mirror on this. I love the mirror in there. You have a full, full mirror to to look into and get ready with, which is just so amazing. So we're gonna start with um, our Real Skin Plus. If anybody has ever used this, this is a really wonderful product. I like to use it as a concealer and a shadow base. But to be upfront and honest right now, um, I have a foundation on. I believe that you are also wearing a foundation, Grace. I do. I have actually Future Skin, just the, the first iteration, as well oh, yeah. as the cushion in the front because I use it for concealer. That's how much coverage I can get from it while still staying quite thin in terms of the texture. So 
I really love that combination because I don't need as much foundation. I just need a little evening out here, but definitely need some coverage, but it still looks really natural. And anytime I'm wearing this in a video, and I'm actually going to post a video right after this where I'm wearing the same combination, you'll be able to see a little bit more detail, um, but it's just the most beautiful combination using both of those. So I actually have both both of them on too. So I have the um, Future Skin in vanilla on, um, which is in the jar. And then I also have the cushion over it. Um, yeah. And this cushion foundation, this um, when you purchase this foundation, it provides a full big bottle of formula for an orphaned elephant with the Sheldra Conservation Team. So we love to support um, support animals and endangered species and environmental group groups. And it's also, it's wonderful to travel with. It's wonderful for touch up. So I have that on. And then I also have the stick on underneath my eyes to conceal and also on my eyelid as a shadow base because you always want to tone down the, the color on your eyelid before you put shadows on. How it's do you apply this, Lisa? What's the best way? Do you go straight on? Do you put it on in your fingertips and tap it on with clean hands? So I'm a straight on girl. Okay. <laughs> and, then I, and then I just pat with my finger. Um, okay. I, love, I love using the digits as tools, um, okay. my fingers as tools. So um, that's how I do it. Or you can warm it up and then put it on. Um, I have 4C. What's your shade? So I have two on. Okay. In summer, I use three. And I use um, three with a nude foundation and, and stuff. Sometimes I'll go to 4C too. It, it depends. Um, so when you're doing shadows, so if you know, if you can both, you obviously notice we have completely different eye shapes, right? Totally. So, <laughs> totally different eye shapes. I have a huge eye. I have a big eyelid. Um, there's a lot of space for, for me. So the basic principles in applying eyeshadow is if, if you remember, no matter what, light brings out and dark recedes. So if you keep that in your head when you're applying your own shadows, you really can't mess it up. So whatever you want to come forward or to highlight, you're gonna make it light. Whatever you wanna push back, you're gonna put it in a deeper tone. Um, so for me, I'm gonna start with, so again, we are going to be using the, the the grace palette, I'm going to call it. So I'm going to take the first color, which is called Shell. Pretty. Can you tell us the finish? And then I'm also using, just so you can see, I'm using the Le Camouflage Stilo as well on the other eye. So you can see they're both suitable for primer. This is what I've been using until I got the stick recently. So that also works too if you have it. Right. And that's also a little bit lighter weight. Um, so if you're a little bit lighter on your eyelid, you might not need as much cover as, as the stick as the stick gives you. And is there one that's better for more dry eyelids or more oily eyelids? Would I you think if your skin is super dry, the Le Camouflage might be better for you. Um, my skin is dry, but I put on a lot of eye cream because I'm really dark under my eyes. So I, I feel that I need the thicker coverage. Um, okay. That's good to know, just so you can make sure. I think everybody gets to, you know, that's what's so nice is there's so many different things that you can use till you find what, what works best for you. And sometimes more than one product will work for you. I know people who use the stick just right on the darkest areas, and then they'll take the Le Camouflage and put it over here and almost work it like a highlighter, you know? Nice. Yeah. So it's nice. The stick is also really nice if you have had on a red lipstick all day and you need to like tone down the color on your lip for reapplication. This gives a nice primer to the lip as well. Oh, nice. I should try that. So do you think that would help too if I want to cancel out any of the pigment on my lips? Because 100%. Okay. Okay. Oh, I want to try it for that. 100%. Okay. So I'm going to take the first color you chose, which is Shell. And it's a beautiful satin finish. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use this almost like a shadow base. 
Okay, so I'm going to apply it from the lashes to under, and I am using our, I never remember the name, the Shade and Sweep brush, which is one of my favorite brushes. And Angela's here. Hi, Angela. Angela Van Rose. Hi. All the way from Italy. Wow. So okay. it's are you applying it to the whole lid? I'm applying it to the whole lid, and I'd advise you to do the same. Okay. It has a beautiful finish to it. So That's there are three different finishes, correct? Yes. Of eyeshadows. It's always strange when you're doing it on, on these things. Yeah. I have this. I'm trying not to reflect in the mirror too much, but I'm using the giant mirror in the um, pan. In the compact. It's really nice. Yeah, it does work really nice. Oh, I'm so glad. I love the cushion foundations too. We all love them. I, I haven't met anybody who hasn't loved it. Yeah, so here we go. I just want to get a little bit more on. And this is one of those finishes I really like because I'm not a fan of individual particles as much as I like more even, just a, a very nice kind of glow. So you will find with these shadows, these individually purchased shadows, that they have beautiful coverage. They're not quite as sheer as some of our limited editions. Um, they can be used wet or dry. And these were kind of our, our first dab into being eco-friendly because they are refillable. So it was a matter of, you know, these these cases are all refillable. So there's less waste, right? Yolanda's asking which shadows these are. Do you want to say it again, Lisa? So these are our, our individual shadows that are sold to go into our either our eight pan or our three pan or our individual pebbles. So this is our, our basic shadow line um, that we've had forever. And they've been kind of ignored after we have so many fantastic launches. So I really wanted to show you these because these shadows are such a beautiful texture. Can you feel the difference in the texture, Grace? Yes, when you yes. yes. It's really nice. When I'm effortless. It's effortless yes. to apply these. So I'm going to take the Java shade, which is this beautiful kind of bronzy brown. And for your shaped eye, yes. I would recommend that you would apply this in the inner part of the corner here, going okay. in through, inside of your crease. Okay. For me, I'm going to apply this on my eyelid because my eyelid is so big. Okay. I'm not trying to get, get that a little bit more pronounced. Does so can you explain to me again? So the inside, do you want me to stay in the crease or do you want me to? So I want you to go on the inner bone. Okay. So like right in that socket, just kind of. Exactly. Feels... Okay. And you're just going to go about halfway. Oh, halfway. Okay. I've never applied shadow that mm -hmm. way. So using this brush as well? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, and I'm going to apply it on my eyelid across my entire eyelid because I have a larger eye. I've got so a big eyelid. Way, is that right? I'm sorry, I missed that. So about halfway you said? Uh-huh. Yeah, perfect. You're doing it perfect. Okay. That so was see, easy. You're following the circle. This brush makes it easy. Yeah. So are these carried in Europe? Because Angela's saying she would like to try them, but they're not carried in European retailers. Do you know about availability, Lisa? So I don't know about availability in Europe. They I, they should be on the website, though. They should be on the website there. Let's see. So what you're doing is you're starting to create a depth on the inner part of your eye, which is going to automatically start having your eyelid become a little bit more pronounced. Okay. Okay. It's looking really good. You're doing a good job. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Is that, how's that? It's perfect. It's okay. perfect. I have a lot of singles. They're gorgeous. It's good. Yeah, they are good. Good. 
I Did agree. you see how beautiful everybody is in their picture when I put it up there? Yeah, there. <laughs> okay. It's not so easy to get Chantecaille in Germany. So I know we're on the, the UK has a website. Hmm. Chantecaille only ships to the UK. Hope the UK website will start shipping to Europe too. Hopefully soon. I mean, I think we're really looking at expanding all these, all these avenues. So the next, let's see, what else did you pick out here? Ah, you picked out Smoky Topaz, which I love. I tried to pick things that were neutrals, knowing that if I'm going to be um, getting the new limited edition, sometimes it's nice to have just some basic shades that you can pair with them. Totally. So because what we're going to do is we're going to go and then we're going to use our um, Vanishing Species as our crown jewels onto our basic shadows. So Smoky Topaz is this beautiful matte brown. It's a great um, brown. It's not too yellow. It's not too blue. It's really, I think, one of the most perfect shades. So Grace, what I want you to do with this one is this is going to be your outer corner. Okay. And through your crease going in the opposite direction. For the other half? The other half. So it's okay. going to give you a little bit, a, a little bit more depth. Um, okay. What I'm going to do with it is it's just going to go on the outer half of my eyelid. Okay. I love how we're showing the different application based on the eye shape because, you know, when we watch YouTube videos, sometimes we're looking at someone who's got a totally different eye shape and wonder why it doesn't turn out like right. theirs. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. it's only makeup. So it's just like using a pencil. There's always an eraser. There's always eye makeup remover. You can always fix it. I think that makeup should be fun and creative and um, you're like painting a live screen. Yeah, I love it. I love playing with makeup. Me too. So okay. again, I'm using the same brush. Okay. I mean, it is my favorite brush. Oh, wow. There's quite a bit of pigment to this one right here. So that one was, can you see how much I got on there? And I just put it in there really, really gently. Right. So I'm blending these two together kind of right at the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I have a couple other brushes here. Um, should I blend with something to get so, these? Yeah. So you can, wait, hang on, hang on a second. I gotta get my corners done. <laughs> so you can see, so do you see the difference in how it looks on the two of us and how your eyelid is popping out? Yes, that made a big difference. It's kind of going, it's kind of not as pronounced as it was before. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now what you can do is take, like, I love this brush for blending. This is the eye definer brush. And you can just go back and forth like a windshield wiper between the two to, to really blend that off. Oh, nice. Okay. I like this shape because it really gets in there and then it doesn't diffuse it too much. Sometimes right. The brush like puts the color everywhere, but it stays pretty focused. It does stay focused. So what I'm gonna do for myself is I'm gonna take a little bit of the rose gold, which is kind of a medium tone. And instead of putting a light color under my eye, again, to balance my eyes, I'm gonna do a medium tone. So for under your eye, I would like you to take the opal. Okay. And use that as your under the eye. And this is what opal looks like. And this one, the opal is a lasting eye shade, it says. So what's the finish on this one? Um, it's the soft satin. Okay. You know, they're all lasting. You know, the the rose gold is has a little bit of iridescence to it. But again, I'm not a big iridescent person, but it's not a lot. 
And so for this one, I am going to use the eye basic and I'm going to use the flatter side to put it under my brow. Okay. Oh, there's a, br does the brush come in the um, palette? Yes, there's a brush that comes in the palette. Too. I have this one as well. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll try that just because it's in here. So you want me to put this under my brow bone? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, wow. It, I don't know if you could see it really showed up. I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. It popped you. Usually light colors don't show up <laughs> on me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to maybe put this on its side just to blend a little. That's a really nice one to have. Isn't that pretty? Because it's not so shimmery that it just looks like it just gives that dimension. Right. It gives the dimension. It gives the balance. And we're like kind of reshaping, reshaping the eyes a bit. I love that. Because then you can really just put whatever you want in terms of color on top and just play. Oh, and so Angela, um, I have on two of the foundations. I have the this future skin on my whole face. And then I have the cushion in nude right here in the front. So I don't have concealer on um, for my dark spots. I just have this. So I love that combination. And so does Lisa. She has the same combination. The same combination on two. So now what I want you to do is to go back and because we're going to highlight the center of your eyelid. Okay. okay. So we can do that either with the opal shade that you selected or we could be really fancy and add one of our jewels. Let's and be go, fancy. Go to the <laughs> cheetah. Okay. Let me find it. Oh, here it is. That's one of my favorite ones. And Nikki just joined us from the UK. Thank you. <laughs> so you're for for your for what I'd like you to do to emphasize a little bit more of your eyelid is you're gonna put this color right on your eyelid. On my whole eyelid or just the center, like where on my eyelid? You can I would start it in the center and then just blend it off to the sides. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna do it with the gold. I love that we're using the whole eye area from here to here because sometimes I feel like with my eye shape, I like to just focus right here, not even thinking that there's all the space. Right. So, more room for more makeup. <laughs> right. Look, I love that. I'm just I'm gonna just do a little bit of gold just down the center of my eye here. Ooh, that looks so pretty on you. I love this shade. I think I have this on in the video that's going up right after this as well, kind of placing it in the same spot. Hi. Hi, Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. <laughs> I love that name. No, me too. Me too. So yeah, so your eyes look great. So do you see how now your eyelid is a little bit more pronounced? Yes. The eyes are, you You have like kind of an ombre effect. I like that. It's very natural. I mean, I don't know how well it's coming across here, but in person, it yeah. looks really nice. It's, it's beautiful on you. It is very natural. So a fun thing to do, we can do with the um, lapis. Hi, Scott is take an angled brush. That's so funny you said lapis and I'm like, do I have that? I do, it's in the palette. <laughs> it's in the palette, it was another one of your pit. It was it's another so one of your pit. <laughs> uh, so you, you're gonna, so this is also a nice mat. You're gonna just dab it. And I'm gonna go underneath my eye and use it as a liner under my eye. Oh, yeah. Know. So, so you can mix earth tones with blue tones. So for my eye, and I would recommend for your eye as well, just go about halfway underneath your eyes. Because if you go all the way across, it's going to kind of make your eyes appear a little bit smaller. 
Okay, so go halfway. Just halfway. Yes, yes, lapis, capital letters. I agree. I love it. Such a pretty color. Oh, wow. There's a lot to like, look. I just look at that on there. Yeah. And that's just with liner underneath your lash. So that's like your word. Yeah. This gives it that nice smoky effect. We haven't even put eye pencil on yet. No, we haven't. You don't really need it really with this if you have this no. right. No, and these, all these shadows can be used wet or dry. I mean, I love them. I'm just going to show some of the other colors because I get so excited. This, <laughs> um, this is Lilac Rose, which Ooh. is oh, it's so pretty. Like I want to put it on too. It's just like pretty lilac that's color. Really beautiful. And that's like really pretty with a little bit of lapis next to it. Look at that. Oh, I'd love to see that whole look together. <sighs> oh no, we might need that eraser to start taking off our eye makeup and reapplying <laughs> with more colors. <laughs> the day so is fun. here. Yes. Thank you for stopping by. So I'm gonna go through some of the colors before we go any farther. So this is Java. I want everybody to see how many they have to choose from. And Java is like a warm brown. Here is Rose Quartz. Look at this gorgeous shade. Then there is Rose Gold. Look at that. This one is Cell, another earth tone. A light shimmer in that. Another one of my favorites is Peony. It's a soft pinky color, pinky peach. Then Marigold, which is just a beautiful peach. I would call it a peach. And then we have Bois, which is a brown. Ah, where's the camera? Where would it go? And Quartz. So when people say, oh, you know, we have to wait for a launch. There's no nothing new. Are you kidding me? Coriander is a beautiful mauve neutral. And then check this one out. This is carnelian. Ooh, that's look great. at how beautiful carnelian is. How would you describe that shade? Like a soft rust. Ooh, okay, pretty. And then there's just a beautiful pearl, which is just a beautiful, you know, highlighter. Then we did opal, but I'll show it to you again. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I'll get the camera straight. Sorry if I'm making it's opposite for us. So making just anyone you know. watch this. This is Shell. We did Smoky Topaz, which is that beautiful brown. Really beautiful. Again, Lilac Rose. I know they all look great, right? You want them all. It's like. It's like when you get the palette of watercolors. This is ginger. And this is one of another one of my favorites. This is called chocolate. So this is a brown that has a lot of plum in it. And it's like beautiful on light eyes. It will bring the green out in your eye or the blue. And then this is patchouli. Same kind of thing. Grapey, grapey gray color. But again, really pretty on light eyes. And then lapis. I love Lily Bet's comment. We need all the colors. <laughs> we need all the colors. It is it is like really like when you like open up a box of crayons or like a big palette of watercolor paints. You have so many options with these shadows that you can mix and match them. And then you can bring in the beautiful vanishing species or your um, uh, our launches, you know, like as jewelry. Like they're the accessories to your basics. I love thinking about it that way because I think all of the limited edition launches are so beautiful, but more as like accents. Right. Right. So what do you want? What do you, yes, you want all of these. <laughs> so good. Stay tuned. We've got a great promo. Um, what are you thinking you want to try for eyeliner? What do you suggest? I You've done a great job so far, so I will just follow your lead. Okay. So I... Oh my goodness gracious. And Vicky J, I have the opal right up here. Is that what I have? That is what I have, right? Yes. I have it right up here if you wanted to see what it looks like on. It's and it shows up on my medium skin tone. That was surprised, but it does a really nice job. It's 
really natural looking. And it doesn't look um, chalky because sometimes when yeah. you have darker skin, the look, look chalky and right. these shadows do not look chalky on any skin tone. I've done makeup from very fair to very dark skinned with these shadows and they really their pigment is just exquisite and it really shows through. So I am thinking Violet Damask. Ooh, okay. And she said Jasper's a good one. I love Jasper. That one is one of, my most, one of my most used eyeliners, I think. So let's see. I have a whole nine. But you can choose a different color if you want. You don't have to, you know. I'm rifling through all of my um my Shantai makeup. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did you see violet? I recommend you always sharpen before you use because they, um, you just get a better line. Yeah, that's I'm, really use, I'm using violet damask. I think I'm going to try that trick I, I saw somebody do where you take this and you apply it with the brush. I was just going to talk about that. Yay. You don't have a sharpener. <laughs> So yes, this is a great way to apply eyeliner. Use the angled brush. What's beautiful about our angled brush is it's kind of stiff, so you get like um, really good control with it. And I need a mirror to see what I'm doing. And one thing I've learned about my eye shape, Lisa, is that I don't actually line the whole eye. I kind of start halfway because I don't have so much room anyway. So mm -hmm. I'll start kind of in the middle. Because otherwise, I have a much rounder shape than I want if I go all the way to the front. Right. That would make sense. And I go all the way across for mine. And you have lots of room on your lid, so you could probably put all kinds of things on there. Um, someone said, well, we'd be posting what colors we've used and where on the lid because they want to mimic the look. Um, we can. <laughs> We're so, we didn't actually like plan this. What we're gonna it's put on it's kind of looking. <laughs> we're it's improvisational, so we can go back though and definitely take a look and see. I mean, they all are coming from this palette though. Yes. Oh, so Vicky J does the same thing. So I think actually we have very similar eye shapes um, because I've seen her videos. You should go check her videos out, by the way. If you have not, so I'm going to go back with a little bit of the pencil to get a little bit more. I want to get a little bit into my waterline. Did you go in with the violet with the same color? Mm -hmm. Oh, usually I go. Whoa, usually I will go in with something like Earth, but yeah, I'm going to go with the same. No, I am too. That's really pretty because it's so deep. I think right. it works really well. And then I think I'm going to do the. Um, the nude, I could Julie, I think that's how you say it, Scott, if you're still here, I'm sorry. Um, and I'm gonna put that in the oh, water line. Under. And this helps you to not look so tired. Not that I'm tired because like, you know, life is easy. <laughs> yeah, but see how that just brightens that, that up? Brightening. Brightening, brightening. I think, Grace, your eyes are beautiful. Thanks. You did and look how good you do that little wing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I'll do it differently on each eye. I won't do the same. Like, I'll go backwards here, but then I'll go like this here. I don't know why. It's I think just it's the it's same it is. right handedness. I don't know. It's whatever works. <laughs> right, right. Okay, yeah, just a little slight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think our eyes are good. We're good? We're we good. I mean, there are mascara? I need mascara. No, we need to put mascara on, 100%. My favorite, all-time favorite is the longest lash mascara. So that favorite. mascara, it um, will help to achieve a longer, thicker, lash especially if you use it every day for at least two weeks um go really close um to the root and then you can angle it you know going all the way around what's also beautiful about our mascara is that it does not flake no it doesn't and that's 
one of my pet peeves with mascara is like you put it on and it looks so beautiful, but then you check it out in the day and something's happened. This one stays really, really put. Right. And I like to like kind of work the outer part and then go up and then get into those inner lashes. So you get that nice winged effect or butterfly eyes. I don't know. I always go off camera when I apply mascara because I will literally do this for five minutes just because right. it's kind of relaxing to apply it. and it doesn't clump. Um, I know that that's probably one of the reasons why I will add several layers because I can. <laughs> and it doesn't get crunchy, you know, right. no. sometimes mascara gets crunchy when you add too much. So even like if I get home from work and we're going to maybe go out, I'm not, I don't hesitate to put another coat of mascara on because I know it's not going to feel crunchy because I hate that feeling. No, I think it's a really, I, I have not found a mascara that even compares. It's, water resistance. it's the Holy Grail mascara. 100%. So here's my, I don't even know how many coats I put on here. <laughs> I think it was one. I just kind of went back and forth, but you can see what a difference it makes. And if I skip yeah, my all together, it's mascara. I'll put it mascara. Just, it opens up the eye. And then for the bottom lashes, I don't do a lot. I usually take my wand this way because I've got very few down here. And you know what's great about this mascara on the bottom lashes? Mine are really wispy, like spider web wispy. And this does such a nice job with not sticking them together. <laughs> Sometimes right. they'll get stuck together and then it looks like I have three lashes on the bottom there. So this one does a nice job of keeping them separate and building them up without getting clumpy. It's it's so different than other ones I've tried on the bottom lash. So even if I try another one, I will still stick with this one on the bottom. Good. Glad to hear that. It's really good. And the mascara, it um, it lasts about four and a half months. You'll know you're out of this mascara when it starts to flake. That's wow. all telling to me. Mascara makes a difference. Wow. Yes. Yeah, it makes such a difference, right? Yeah. <laughs> it looks beautiful on you. If I didn't do anything else, it would just be mascara. Right. Well, for me, it would be mascara and eyebrows. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> I'm getting older. My eyebrows are getting um, thinner. Yeah, so I think concealer, eyebrows, mascara. Right, right. Let's see if I'm missing anything here. Does anybody have any questions while we're in a in a mascara wait? <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, take your time. <laughs> you can you can keep answering questions. I'm almost done here. I really could go forever though on these. I know. I'm just talk a little bit about the while you're doing that our brow pencil. So I have white hair, obviously. Um, and believe it or not, I use the oak brown eye pencil, which would be the same color that Grace would use. Um, I love to give little tips on how to do brows. So if you put the pencil like straight, wait, no, I, why is it not doing it right? Because I'm in <laughs> like that. That's about where you want your brow to start. And then if you angle it, and I got to angle it the other way. Oh my God, this camera's killing me. Like this. That would be about where your arc of your brow is going to be. And then when you lay it, every time I'm doing it, it's going to be a different eye. This is hysterical. <laughs> you're that's, doing a great job. That's about where you're going to want it to end. So you can use your eyebrow as a one, your, your pencil or whatever, just to really. <laughs> so when you're going like this, Lisa, are you on the side of like, this on the side of your nose. nose. So you just like lay it to the side of your nose. But which part? Like this part of my nose or this? Do you know what I'm saying? Like this is my nostril because I would, that wouldn't work for me, right? It would be way too. So, so you're going to go up to the bulb of your nose. Okay. You see that? Okay. Yeah. And then when you would turn it this way, you're going to go to the center of your pupil and that would be the high point. And then from here, to here would be the end. Right. This opposite is really challenging. Oh my God. <laughs> Please forgive us. 
<laughs> so that all being said, I'm just going to fill them in. And this pencil is really nice because it is waterproof. And you don't need to put a lot of pressure on it. And then on the other side, there's a spoolie, like so. So you could brush it through. So if you got a little bit too much on, you could brush it through. Are they laughing at me? Yes. <laughs> okay, I think they're laughing with us. Okay. <laughs> and it, well, there's a question. Suggested eye pencil and fixer combo works for, oh, your suggested eye, just kidding, I can't read today. Your suggested eye pencil and fixer combo works great for gray hair. Right. So for me, what I do is I do the oak brown and Christine knows because she's a client of mine. And I put, I mix in a little bit of the light taupe. You can do it either with the pencil or with the gel. Of course, I don't have the light taupe here. Or you could do it with the brow gel just to give, so I get the three dimensions so my color doesn't look so harsh. That's the next thing I need to try are the eyebrow products because I don't think I've tried any of them. Yeah, the eyebrow pencils are wonderful because, I, like I said, it stays on all day long. Um, the, the brow gel actually has the peptide that helps to grow a healthier, um, just like the mascara, a, a healthier eyebrow. Okay. Okay. I'm picking that up next time then. Yes. 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 We must pick that up next time. So um, I want to share with everybody also, so we've gone over the collection of single shadows that you can either put in a three pan, an eight pan, or an individual pan. And that's our special curated Grace Everyday Edit edited palette. <laughs> I think we said the edit by every edit. Edit. This is the edit. So now I'm gonna show you this great set. This is called Africa's Vanishing Species Collection. And it comes like this. And then you open it up and you've got this gorgeous box. I know I'm gonna drop all this. And then inside this beautiful box is the set of vanishing, boom. You got it. You're, you're a little bit higher, there you go. <laughs> vanishing species. So you get all six of them and that beautiful brush. Um, okay. And these give back to all the animals that you see on the covers. So for instance, the elephant is giving back to the, the foundation, the Sheldrick Foundation. The um, rhino, actually this is giving back to Space for Giants. The rhino is giving back to the Sheldrick Foundation. Um, the lion is the, um, oh my God, I'm going to have, I'm having a, um, a brain stop here. I have it right here because it comes with all the information too. It's a lot of information to, to store in there. So there is, there's a lot of information that That's I, why I love the inserts that but, come with all of the products. The lion, the lion goes to the lion guardians, the giraffe is for the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. A lot of people don't know that giraffes are on the endangered species. And the pangolin goes to the Tiki Highwood Foundation. So all the information is in that set as well. Um, and you also have information on the famous photographers. And it includes everybody. You never know what you're gonna get in the set, but mine is the photo of the elephant and it is signed by the artist and numbered. Oh, wow. Can you see the number at the bottom? Yeah. yeah. So it's a really special set to get, get, give and get, receive. And you know, you know you're giving back to these endangered animals and we have to care for them. And these shades are all very, I call them more glamorous jewels because like this is the lion, which is the beautiful gold which is what I put on my eyelid. Um, the pangolin is a beautiful dusty rose. The rhino is a, um, has a green cast to the taupe. And the elephant 
is more of a brown taupe. And the giraffe is just a gorgeous, gorgeous coppery. That one's especially pretty with a little bit of water applied. Mm -hmm. Giraffe, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the cheetah we had shown you before. Yeah. So those all come in that, that beautiful set and can be added to any of the eyeshadow looks that we put on. And for those who came in a little bit later, right after this ends, I'm going to post my video of all of my Shantikai products that I have, and I swatch every single item. So you'll get close-ups of those as well. So right after this, this ends, I'll, I'll put that one up so you can see them, everything close up. Right. So I think we should move to our cheeks. Yes. So um, we were going to use the cheek jelly in vibrant. This one's new to me too. I have the other ones. Yes. So how I like to apply this is you can apply it two ways. You can put a little bit on the back of your hand and use our angled brush, which is really nice. Or you can use your fingertips. So I'm gonna use your fingertips because I don't have that brush. So we can, okay. use, so you you use, your brush? can use your fingertips and I'll use my brush. Okay. Perfect. It's coming on. You don't need very much. Okay. I just took a little bit. And How would you I just use this color? I select to start it in the um, apple of my cheek and just go up and out. I also like to put a little bit underneath my brow bone. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to see this. So you just <laughs> put it right under. <laughs> Don't make me giggle. <laughs> yeah, I, I always like to take a little bit of my blush, whether powder or cream, and go underneath my brow. I think it just gives you a, just a, a warm all over color. That's really pretty. And then just a little bit around my face. Yeah, this one's really, this is a little bit more um, color than the other two I noticed. The other two are yeah. very much, like soft. Much, much softer. And then I usually like to go ahead and put a powder blush over, although you don't need to. Um, I absorb a lot of color um, for whatever reason. It just kind of soaks into me. So I like to put a little bit of um, powder blush over it. And I'm going to break your heart right now, Grace. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. But I am going to put Joy. Oh, okay. So I told Lisa, <laughs> I was doing all the swatches for the video and we have really hard floors. So my blush rolled off. And if you've seen my videos, you know what happened? It just shattered. It's so pretty. That's such a pretty one. And that was a newer one to me. I love that one. I, it's, it is my favorite. And Joy um, helps to protect the wild horses and their habitat. Yeah, that's a really pretty They're one. They're losing their land. So again, I'm going to do a little bit under my brow. Nice. Really pretty. I was going to see if I have my other one nearby. You should try the, you should do the grace. Do you have grace? You have it, but <laughs> let's just see if I can find it. I thought I pulled everything over here, but maybe I did not. But yeah, I do. Have, oh, no, I do. I have it. I yes, love it. Okay. Okay. Really pretty. This is the little one. Grace. It is a pretty shade. This is so much fun. I wish I was going somewhere. <laughs> I love that everything looks still, even though we've put on quite a bit of different makeup, um, it still all looks really natural and not too much. Right, right. But we could step it up if you all want us to. <laughs> I'm always all about, I can always add more makeup. Do you want to show us how we can just kind of transform this? If say, okay, we've got this makeup on during the day, but then we have something we are doing in the evening at whenever we can do that. Yeah. How that works. <laughs> I would love to do that. 
because I love to go out in the evening. Don't do it as much as I used to. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I'm going to go a little crazy. This is Crane. Ooh, I love that. Yes, that's beautiful. Okay. Crane is beautiful. And I'm going to take Crane. And I am going to actually. How am I going to do this? I'm going to pick up the color with my brush. And then I'm going to give it a little mist of rose water. I love that trick because you're not adding the water to the actual pan, which I like because I've done that before. And then it's like, oh, That's yes, nice. so these are. Yes. So thanks for answering, Scott. These are the philanthrop philanthropy blushes. So I am going to put this right in my outer corner where I had put the smoky topaz and bring it up into my brow bone a bit. And look at the difference there. Pretty. Yeah. Then just blend it a little bit. I don't know why I open my mouth when I put my eyes shut. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just lay this down. So Hannah says that she loves the joy blush, but wishes the overspray was throughout the blush. Mm, yeah, that would be pretty, right? I know I'm always so sad when I first swipe it and that beautiful overlay goes away. So there, that, that would be adding a little bit more drama, but I'm going to even do it a little bit more. And I'm going to go in with the zebra. So I'm using two shades that actually aren't in that set. And again, I'm going to do this wet. I'm just going to clean up the side. So I'm going to try this because I usually will do this with a different concealer. I clean up just these outside bits because sometimes shadow gets stuck in there and it just yeah. a little bit more. So while she does that, I'm going to go ahead and try this. See how I'm probably going to have to do that when I'm done with all this. So now I'm going to take the zebra and I'm putting it onto my eyelid. And I'm just kind of deepening up the whole look here. Because now all of a sudden I'm going from the office to some fabulous restaurant. Ooh, yeah. that's pretty. Isn't it pretty? Your eyes pop with that color. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're they're really pretty on on because of the um, blue base into it. It's really a nice contrast on the green eyes. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there we go. So now I've just jazzed it up, um, and we are going to do. Are you going to jazz yours up at all? Do you want me to? You I can't. Think, what should I do? Um, I don't know. Why don't you pick one of the um one of the uh, the endangered species shadows and give yourself a little lump. Surprise me. A little, okay. <laughs> How about this one? I always think this is really beautiful on um, dark eyes, pangolin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the pangolin too. And these are also nice to use with your fingers too. You can also use Okay, let me do that. And I'll place it kind of like on this exterior, like half kind of where you were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. And that'll cover up the fact that I got mascara on my eyelids. <laughs> oh, I, I, I got a little too. <laughs> and a little over. No, that wrong eye. Oh my God. This reverse camera thing is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so nice here. We should I do know. that. I know. <laughs> All right. And let's move to lips. Okay. So, Grace, you picked out two lip colors. Now I have to remember where I put them. I have some a couple lip veils here that are new to me, a couple of lip cheeks, and a couple of um, lip glosses. Oh, and I have a lip liner. Did I forget to tell you that? I have a lip liner as well mm -mm. in natural, which I haven't used. I don't think I've used any of the lip liners before. Okay. What's going to do? All right. So let's line our lips. Okay. I'm going to line with um, 
chic, which is a Ooh. bit of a deeper shade. Okay. And you line with your natural, natural. with everything. So I'm really going out of my comfort box because I don't usually do um, much on my lips, but it's Saturday. Okay, so those of you who are close to my um, coloring, this is a really great one because I have a little bit darker on the exterior and I'm always trying to cancel this out to at least make them more even. So this is a really great shade for that. It's, a great it's shade. almost my lip color. Actually, yeah, I'm losing my lips, so. Oh, Britt Clark is here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hi there. She does amazing looks. I love the hair. Um, someone says, can you please show me the iris lip veil? Yes, I can. Maybe I'll even put it on for you. So I don't know, I'm gonna take this comment down for a second, but if you can see, it's evened everything out. And even if I just, oh, what is this? Even if I just put a little gloss on right now, it would just, I think, look really put together. I love that color on you, that lip liner color. Yeah. So of course, Iris is the only one that I do not have down here. Oh, darn it. Any other one you wanted to see? <laughs> I have Azalea. And then someone has a question, can Lisa explain the lip contour pencil? Yes, so the lip contour pencil is a pencil that you apply, it almost works, it, it's a treatment product too. Um, you apply it over your entire lip, um, lip line, you can go a little bit outside the lip area and on your lips. It smooths your lips and it helps your lipstick stay on a little bit longer. It's really so nice. Do this before a liner or after? Is this something you can use it instead of? You can just do that. Or if I put it on now, is it too late? No, no it's not too time. late. Nothing's ever too late. And you'll feel it's it's it smooths your lips too, like those little the little um cracks we have. I, my lips are so dry right now. I know. So I'm sorry, I don't have the iris. So I am going to do um this is one of my new favorites. It's the John Darian um, limited edition lipstick that we still have. I know we're talking about basics, but I just really love this and I actually really like it with this lip liner. So I'm gonna try it. If you don't like it, I'll put something else on. What uh, should you suggest? I have Baobab, which is actually one I've been wanting to get for quite some time, but then I have poor, uh, let me show the colors. So maybe they can let me know what they wanna see. So this is a lip veil. Bow bad, and then we've got this one, Portulaca. Let me know if you want to see either one of those. I also have a couple of lip chics. I have them in um, bourbon rose and tea rose. So we'll see if anyone has anything they want to see. If not, I will. I'm tempted to go with the red just because. Right. I think you should do the red. You think I should do the red? Okay. Because I feel like these other ones are really things I'll get quite a bit of use out of. Um, but I do want to see how this red one looks. Okay. Because so I feel like the brighter shades. Yeah. What's that? That's I'm, pretty. Isn't that pretty? Britt says, give us that red. Okay. <laughs> And with the with the chic lip liner, it just really changes the look of this um, this lipstick, which could be very light. But by adding it, it kind of gives me a nice ombre effect, which I think is really pretty. Ooh, look at that red! Yeah, I'm glad I put that contour fill because my lips were so, they were so dry. And so you can feel the difference in your application, right? Mm -hmm. It goes on much smoother. I've done it before, where I've used I think it was one of the. Um, the matte lip stilos and I put it on and it just slid all the way off. <laughs> just, oh. I threw it across my face. Nice. <laughs> I think that was a pretty look. Your lips over here like a Picasso. Yes. So yeah, it is really like physically it's a smoother surface. Okay. Yeah, that look looks great on you. Thanks. That's a great color. Port it is. You know, it would be really pretty on that. Do you have Lucky? 
I do. So these are new to me. Can you tell us a little bit about the lip glosses? I did see, did they win some award? I think I was just looking so at the lip glosses are so popular for us. Um, actually, Angelina Jolie was spotted on um, one of the award shows pulling out her lip gloss and then our lip glosses went crazy. So her favorite colors are like love and lucky. Um, they really are hydrating to the lip, but they never feel sticky. Um, they give the skin, the lip, a nice little feeling of plumpness. Um, they're awesome. Uh, so my lipstick is the John Darian Rose de May. It's a it's a limited edition. We have lots of them in stock, though. So, yeah. So I do you want to tell your lip liner? Lip, again? My lip liner is chic. So I have Chic and the John Darian on my lips. And then I had Natural, which I wonder if it's even tempered a little bit because of this um, lip liner, the brightness of this poor, poor to yeah. <laughs> It might, it might be a little bit, but not too much. It's, it's still, good. it's still quite red though. <laughs> right. And then I'm going to put a little lip gloss on too. And I'm going to put a little bit of the um, pretty on because I'm feeling pretty. Someone says, do you, you have EOS? If so, can you do it? I'm not quite sure. I'm um, not sure if I know what that is. Give us more details if you would like to. Maybe we can have if you know, if you're on still. Um, did you tell me Lucky? I should put Lucky on? Okay. And I usually like to just put gloss in the center. Me too. And then go like that. Pretty. Is that pretty? I love it. it kind of gives it a little bit of a um, a gold cast to it. Yeah, it's got that warmth to it, which I like. So, really beautiful. Oh, an hour later, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> We're all made up, ready to go. Thank you for all the tips. So I loved the uh, tip that you gave me with the eyeshadow, where I went in with a little bit of the lighter shade and then the deeper shade. So it was kind of like an ombre. I thought that was a really beautiful right. application, something I don't normally do, but it was really easy with this brush. Right, very easy with that brush. And I do so use I that one, that, that tip from Janelle. And I know you've worked with ah, Janelle. Yes, I love her. Yeah, yeah, and that's where I learned to use this as a primer for my lids, but this is really nice too. I think they both did quite well, but I have normal skin on my oh. eyelids, so. I think that I, I can work with either one. Right, for sure. She's asking, it's the lip balm in a ball. I, I don't have any so of this. Um, so the, um, our lip balm is in a pot. It's called Lip Potion. It's in a round pot. Um, she said if she wants to leave a link, she can. Okay. And then we have these, we have these beautiful lip tints which are sheer lip colors that are super hydrating to the lip and they come in four different shades. Oh, do you have a favorite fragrance? Um, I love the vetiver Cedra and I love my husband wearing the um, Oud Fumé. That's really, like I have it, I bought it for me to wear, but it smells really nice on him. So I love when he applies that. Oh, the Eos Balm at Target. Okay, I, I don't know that one. <laughs> Yeah, me, me either. Um, so I love the vetiver was my first favorite fragrance um, of Chantecais. And I love the ved, vetiver Cedra as well. But I've all of a sudden been really liking Darby Rose. So I've been, I've been wearing that. And I love that it has this, this um, really light floral bouquet, but then it has a warmer dry down because there's a little bit of sandalwood in it. And I smell a little bit of green in it because I tend to like a green fragrance. That's why I like the vet. Oh, I might like that one then because yeah. I, I, I don't like really heavy, heavy um, floral fragrances. They're a little bit overwhelming for me. So I do like that green, the clean element. Yes. And so there's a little bit of the citrus in the Darby Rose too, of raspberry and a little bit of lemon. So you get a little bit of, um, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's nice. 
Um, someone says, do you have a translucent powder? I have this one. So yes, our translucent powder is amazing. It's one of the most fine milled powders you can use. Um, it never gets cakey on the skin. Uh, it's just a gorgeous loose powder. And I have so have a loose powder and an HD um, that looks like this. And is this a pressed version of it then? It is. This one, you um, pull the neck down, give it a flick of the wrist, and then you can go over your whole face and it just kind of like blurs out all the imperfections. But what I like about our powder is you don't lose your glow. Like I still think I like my skin to glow. I don't like to have a really matte um, finish to my makeup. You both had to pick an all-time favorite product from Shantikai. What would it be? Oh, my God. Skincare or makeup? Oh. Well, how about pick one? one? Pick one skincare, pick one makeup. Um, for skincare, I would say right now, um, I would say the Gold Recovery Intense PM uh, 28 day reset. Um, it has been a game changer for my skin. It has that amplified um, hexapeptide in it that helps to work like a needle free Botox. And then my favorite makeup item, I have to say, I love the classic eyeshadows. They're my, they're my go to, um, that's why I was so excited to do this live with Grace and, and show them to everybody. So how about you? Uh, let's see, for skincare, I think I love this because I use it. It's like a multi-purpose than the Radiance Elixir because it's skincare, but then you can also add it to other products as well. Like you could add it to the rose water. I add it to um, the tinted moisturizer, the skin tint, and then... Let's see, for makeup, I <laughs> I want to say it's the hummingbird powder, but I know that's not like a widely available <laughs> at this time. Um, so I'm going to go okay. with, what's that? It will be in the summer, so, but yeah. let's go with something we have. Something that we have. Um, so I'm going to go with the the new cushion because I, this is a game changer for me because someone had asked Lourdes, I was just looking at your comment. She wants to get the cushion foundation, but not sure if it will have enough coverage because she has some dark spots. So if you have been to my channel, you know, I have dark spots right here in the front. So this is what I love the most about this product because I also have texture here. So I have pores. So anything I put on there has the potential to emphasize the texture. So this is like the perfect storm right here to have dark spots on this part of my face because it's not smooth to begin with. So anything that's a thin texture that has a substantial coverage is what I'm looking for and this is what does that and it stays in place all day. So I actually don't have concealer on this area today. I just used this. So that's, I love this. And you so, can also, if you take that with your fingertip and press it on spots, you can get a little bit more coverage um, that might help you too, or put a little concealer on first and then just pat it and um, it works. It gives you the coverage. I have what is Lisa's favorite go-to lipstick? Your go-to lip color and lip liner. So um, I would say my lip, I truthfully am not a lover of lipstick. And it sounds crazy because I sell makeup and I'm a makeup artist. Um, I would say it would be the um, natural lip liner with um E, like T Rose lipstick or um, Love lip gloss, but I'm really liking this. That's really beautiful. It's not too much. It's not too much for me. So, yeah, I love it. It's it's I created it today too. Just now. Have you ever? You've never done this combination before. No. Oh, wow, beautiful. I love it. Yay. So, what's going to be back in June? June first is at the powder, Scott. Yeah. Is it this or is it, I don't know. Oh, the radiance. Okay. I don't know. Um, maybe he can clarify. Thank you for answering all these questions, Scott. Yeah, thank you. Really oh, thanks, Sue. 
So nice. Okay, did we miss anything? We got like we I think we we oh, have yeah. everything. So I do you think we should reveal the giveaway? Yeah, why don't you do it? Because I know that you have that all. So the giveaway is going to actually be shipped by Lisa. So it's coming from Lisa. So that's why do you want to talk about the who it's open to before we talk so about it? It's open to um all um everybody in the US. Um right now so we just know it's coming like lisa's personally putting this in the mail so i'm personally shipping this to you so um number one you're going to get a beautiful full size of rose water rose water is a great product to use after you cleanse your skin it's also a beautiful product to use even as a as a makeup set you could spray it over so you're receiving that you are also going to receive the eight pan that our friend Grace picked all the colors. And we have the Lucky and the Love lip gloss and the Violet Damask eyeliner. And the longest lash mascara and <laughs> the vibrant lip um, cheek gel, which also can be used as a lip stain. I learned that last night. Plus, we have two beautiful lipsticks for you. We have the um, lipstick that Grace is wearing. Um, how do you say it? Portulaca. That's how I say it. I don't know. Well, the beautiful red and a really nice neutral anise. So I think this is a pretty remarkable makeup giveaway. It's valued at a little bit over $650. And um, how you... Um, get involved in this giveaway is you need to um, follow me, Lisa, at, um, nam at Namaste52. And you need to follow Grace at Everyday Edit XO on Instagram. Plus, you need to um, subscribe to Grace's YouTube channel, comment. <laughs> And then on our Instagram, you also need to comment by putting down one of your favorite products or maybe what you'd like to see us do another um, live on, if you'd like to see oh, us. Oh, I love that idea. So um, that's how you enter. And I believe, what did what was the end date on that, Grace? Um, let's see. So I, what I'm going to do, so you don't have to remember all of that. Just before you go over to my Instagram, I'm going to post it in a little bit here and it will have all of the information for you, like what you need to do. Um, and then let me just check. What did I say? I want to make sure it's accurate. Yes. Um, Moonbird powder will come back. Um, I believe it's sometime in May. Okay. So the chance to enter the giveaway ends at 12 midnight. Um, PDT Saturday, April 3rd. So you have about a week to enter and then the winner will be contacted via direct message on Instagram. So that's another reason you need to be following on Instagram so that we can make sure we can connect. Right. And please feel free to, to um, share it on stories too, because that's always fun for us to see. And thank you so much. You've all been so welcoming and so positive and really Great. It's been so much fun. I've really enjoyed working with you, Grace. I yeah. hope you had a great time. Um, we sure did. So yes, thank you so much for joining us. And again, Lisa, thank you for reaching out. I hope this is just the first in many that we will do together because I did learn. So, I mean, as long as I put on makeup, there are still some things that, you know, I got to learn. So I'm so excited for the giveaway. So make sure you follow both of us. We'll both post the information for the giveaway. Oh, do you want to talk about the promo code? I forgot to talk about promo um, code. Yes. Oh, my God. That's like the biggest part. Oh, I was just so excited about the giveaway. Wait a minute, guys. So if when you put in the code, if when you go onto the website, Grace20, you will receive 20% off your purchase. 
plus we have Afterpay. So with Afterpay, you have to spend $150 to get the 20% off. Um, but if you don't want to use Afterpay, just put in Grace20 and you will get 20% off your purchase. And that goes until Sunday midnight Eastern San Standard Time because that's according to the website. Okay. And then just so you know, I'm going to go ahead and post my Shantikai video right after this. So if you want to see everything that I have, I swatch everything for you in case you kind of want to peruse and, and see what I've got. And I have different shades too of the Christian Foundation. I have four of the shades that I swatch for you. In case you're not sure, you can take a closer look at those as well. Yeah. And also, you can also feel free to book a virtual consultation with me. Um, just DM me on my Instagram, or um, you can contact me at lisa at chantakai.com. And I'm happy to do a one on one consult with you. And um, we could do a Zoom, and then I could see you one on one. And Lisa, you're a great, you're a great teacher. teacher. You're Thank, a great you. Teacher. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I so really much. Much. Thank you. So, this was so great. Oh, hi, Ange. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you for being so welcoming. And then you can comment down below. It should give you okay. an opportunity. I think on the once it's over, you can at least comment here. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye.